Welcome to the wormhole, where keeping it real is expected. There are a couple million podcasts you can be tuned into, but you chose to take this journey with us. And for that, we thank you. Without further ado, The Wormhole with Tim and Troy. Yo. Yo. What up with it? Oh, man, that shit, man. Miss Ryan and uh, a little nap got away from me. Oh, you better set them alarm clock. Yeah. Hey, man, that was, uh, somebody just hit me. I woke up with 501. I said, God, dog. Motherfucker. Hell yeah. What's the deal, man? Man, I can't call it, bro. This shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm still feeling pretty right from earlier. Hey, I'm just not maybe a little bit of coming back down, but yeah. It will It will set you down, too. Hey, you yeah, you're so much yeah, have me sitting down. Then I miss around eight. Yeah, yeah. Shit, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Let me this shit put up. Here you go. But yeah, all right. Trying to make sure I get this shit on here. Good idea. There we go. Oh, yeah. Trying to get set up. There we go. Mm-hmm. What's new in your world? Man, ain't a whole lot new. You know, um, ain't a whole lot new at all. I guess, you know, shit, knowing, letting, letting the people know that we uh, visited a nice church home today. You know, we went and heard some good singing. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, you know, a little preaching. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah. We didn't go as the wormhole. We went as individuals today. You know, we were at, we were there together, but we wasn't the wormhole today. Yeah. Yeah, just, uh, we just went out there. What did they say? Do a little visiting. A little visiting, you know, uh, hear the wife sing a little bit. Yeah. It was good service, man. I guess it's on the fact that he shout out to Mount Harmony Baptist Church in Russell, Louisiana. And the uh, and and the YVH reunion choir, yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, the YVH reunion choir. Yeah, the YVH. Yeah, they did their thing. They did their thing. Sure enough. But yeah, man. Oh shit, let's talk about that shit you had sent me, man, about the little kid, man. I got it pulled up right now. It's what's yeah, it crazy. Goes. Okay. Yeah, man. So, uh, five year old kid in Indiana killed his infant sibling and i'm thinking the sibling was a little boy and the infant was was some months old terrible story so tragic and the crazy part about it uh the little boy that shot and killed that was five years old that shot and killed his sibling had the toxicology result he was positive for cocaine marijuana and alcohol we're talking about a five-year-old kid Toxicology report, he is high as a kite. Hey, he's a fucking and party. He is a party, a walking party. He is not going to understand what he did right now, but when he gets older, the fact that he shot and killed his little sibling, months old baby that can't walk yet, that's gonna fuck that's gonna be tragic on him. That's gonna be some trauma. Yeah. But yeah, man. That's gonna be something, man. But I like I said, man, the right kind of counseling and a, a, a brand new home and everything like that. He'll mess around and forget, man. I think he will forget. But in order for him to, they're going to have to do one or two things. Either they're going to have to let him forget and and pretend like it never happened, but something's going to remind him. This is the age of the internet. So when he gets old enough, this article is going to come up somewhere. Somebody's going to remind him. He's going to want to get, somebody's going to interview him for a, a 20th anniversary of this shit. And in order to relive something, you're going to have to relive it. Sometimes you have to relive to heal. But because he's so young, maybe they will just allow him to forget. Well, no, no, you can think about it like this, uh, you know, because I'm quite sure he's going to be taken out of that whoever custody he was in, right? Mm-hmm. He's never going to be that way. So they could probably get him to, a, you know, another family or something and just change his name and move him as far away from, we said, Indiana or wherever he was. Give yeah, him far away from Indiana. there. Yeah, give him as far away from Indiana. It's possible. Change his name. He possibly just not have to, ever have to hear about it again. Cause I don't know Indiana, but that's close to the where it's close to. But yeah, send him, shoot him down south, way down south. Boy, change his name, south. yeah, change his name, and go on from there. He's messing around and forget about it. Yep, five years old and fatally shot his sixteen month old brother in the head. Shit, man, that's horrible, man. That's horrible. Parents were parents were twenty seven and twenty four, and I'm gonna not bite off the. Uh, What's the name of the show? Charlemagne, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. I know you're talking about. The, the Breakfast Club. They do the mm-hmm. guess what race it is. But I'm going to just ask you, guess what race it is. Shit, Indiana? 
Okay. Let me give you one more tidbit. There was 93 fentanyl pills within reach of the five-year-old kid. He might have took one of those, but he didn't die, so I'm assuming he didn't. I ain't get hold of that. I'm saying that when you throw that fentanyl in there, that, that that's what swing your way. You know, mm -hmm. if you're a black folk, try to stay away from that kind of shit. But Indiana, it can still it, it could go other kind of way, man. I'm gonna say, but I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say with well, it white. I threw you off with that fentanyl on purpose. Yeah, that black. fentanyl. They, oh wow, I'm finna say because you know we ain't really known for fucking with that. Mm -hmm. You know, because all you gotta do is tell a nigga to kill him and he do it. You know, like mm -hmm. it ain't no uh oh you got 25% chance. That fentanyl, you got zero percent chance. Zero. Four hundred grams of marijuana. He was balling out of control. Oh man, yeah. For all that shit he had in the house, that put him through school. Bitch. Yeah, shit. You can't be bag up all that shit he in that house and sell it. That'll put him through school. And he had that fentanyl, so he was gonna make a whole batch of deadly cocaine. Yeah, some deadly cocaine. It's it was gonna go down. Some of that one hit a quitter. Mm-hmm. And then, then like with shit like that, it kind of make you think. Like you think them people is really tripping on what happened, or they tripping on losing the drugs too? You know, because and when you say them people, who do you mean? The parents, mm. who whoever shit it was. Dark Troy, this is Dark Troy now. This is the dark side of me. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that they don't love their children. Chances are, if they 27 and 24, they got one five year old already. They didn't mean to have him. Uh, I don't know. They said the, the the man was the father of the oldest kid. Uh, I don't know about the youngest kid. They probably didn't mean to have him either. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say saying, that, young. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I'm that's... not saying they don't love him, but if they could have got away with that and kept their jewels, I think they'd have took that option. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I was saying. Like, man, you think they tripping because they really didn't give a damn about them kids the way you left all that shit out there like that. And they, and how the hell did baby get that much shit in there? Because that ain't no contact smoking shit while all that. That no, ain't no contact. No. no, you got that in you. And the sad no part, you know the little baby had cocaine in his system, so he didn't know how to roll up no dollar bill and snort it. He was, no. fuck, he was putting his hand in that shit and eating it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, A probably. A mouthful of cocaine. Ain't no problem. Uh-uh, you don't know. Unless he's seen his mama or daddy snorting and he tried to do that. But even if he tried to do that, he probably snorted so much in his nose at one time, it, it just made his bell ring. Yeah, and that's a possibility, too. I think that's a possibility, too, because, you know, when you're that little, you, you all or nothing. It ain't no just toot a little bit. No. You should just vacuum yeah. clean of that shit. But, but, that shit but probably still, you, nice looking. Oh. Yeah, but but you still got to be like, I don't know, man, because even a big old, a big hefty snort of that shit, Unless that shit is, I don't know, man. Because uh, like well, a kid can't handle that much shit like that, man. And he was drinking alcohol. And alcohol, man. It, Straight, because it, it was just a bottle. Right. Now, that, that alcohol I get, you know, but still, though, having all that shit in you at five, they'll say it, it's a big chance he ain't going to remember none of that shit, man. Because he was he out of his mind. Off like a, he probably took off like a rocket. Yeah. Yeah, like a Warner Brothers. I'm telling you. Mm. <laughs> Shit, I ain't bullshit. That motherfucker, man, for real. See, that Wild Coyote shit, he hit that shit, eyes got big and red. You probably can't even tell him what happened. Like, he don't even understand the concept because either he was smoking marijuana or he was taking gummies. So that means when they came and found him after he did that, he was still buzzing for the next fucking seven hours. Yeah, 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 he was rolling. He was rolling. The alcohol, the coke, and, and then you're going to throw some, uh, what would you say? He had alcohol and coke and marijuana. And marijuana. See, grown folk don't party that good. Grown folks don't get in like that. That'll stop a grown person heart. Yeah, that's what I was, that's what I was saying. It would stop. It would have like shit, like a immediate stop. That boy had a heart like a horse. Mm -hmm. Shit, I feel, I feel bad for him. He probably went to sleep and woke up and wanted to where's yeah. little brother at? Cause that man, shit that probably felt like a dream. Man, that shit probably he probably slept for three, four days. That to make sure he ain't, he ain't sleeping no coma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Poor baby. Fucking yep. neglectful ass parents. And you know what their excuse gonna be? They was trying to make it. They was trying to figure out a way, which they might have been, and I ain't mad at nobody for selling dope or whatever you're doing in your life. But the babies cannot be around the fucking guns, the fentanyl, all of your fucking drugs. Put that shit somewhere else. Have a room for it. A room for them or something yeah. for them to play in. So they ain't gotta be around it. Cause I mean, you know, majority of our folks, you know, growing up, they smoke weed and shit, but they you were when they were through with it, you could have tore that house to pieces, you'd have never found that dope. Absolutely never, unless you, you was going to go on their bed. Man, I'm talking about, they could have left you at that house for eight goddamn hours. You never found that damn dope. You wouldn't have found it as no kid. Ain't no running up on mama weed. You don't run up on that weed. Mm-mm. You just don't run up out of it like that. And then shit for one damn thing, 
she catch you rummaging in that room and show ass. And she gonna know you been there whether you try to cover your tracks or not. She gonna know. She know it. It. Yeah, she know what time it is. This ain't her first rodeo. She know how she left that damn that that head pillow. It wasn't like that. Mm -mm. And old mamas will just come and sit in your face and tell you what you did. Don't ask you no questions. No. I know next time I'm going to beat the shit out of you. Yeah, I'm going to whoop your ass if I catch you in my room again. You're like, what are you talking time. about? Oh, they know. Don't lie. Then, then they'll tell you, look, I'm letting you off easy. Please right. don't insult me. Don't insult me, yeah, because I know you was in here because I know exactly why I left this shit. Because even when you think you're going to push it back, it's as a child, it's something you miss. Yeah. And, and see, old mamas don't need no, no, I'm sorry. They don't need apologies. They just tell you because the next time I'm coming in, I'm on your ass. I'm not yeah, going to talk to you. Yeah, I ain't going to say either. nothing. Yeah, I ain't going to say nothing. You just going to be looking up and, hey, that's all you're going to see is me. And I'm hitting you where I, wherever I can hit you, I'm going to I'm telling you. You, you be done thought a, a tornado came through. You didn't see shit, but it was a lot of pain. A tornado coming through my room. Yes, sir. But, yeah, that was, man, that's that's 100% just that's fucked up, man. That's terrible. I feel so yeah. bad for that kid. Yeah. But then, like I said, it's a shame, though, man. I mean, you don't get no... Like, man, my kids, man. Like, I could just be, you know, joking with them and bullshit. You know, I'll be drinking a beer or something. Y'all want something? No! You know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They like, no, uh, uh You know? So I'll be drinking one of them little drinks. So they be like, damn, what is it? It smells like strawberries or something. You know, might be a little mm -hmm. Cayman Jack or something. I say, yeah, hey, you want to taste it? Mm-mm. Stank. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I want to keep stanking. Stank as long as it can. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Stank. Stank one, again. One, one day is going to smell good to them. One day it's gonna smell good. One day gonna be like shit, mm -hmm. you know. But but you know they they gotta try it on their own time when they grown. Cause shit, it might smell good, but it ain't really what you thought it was. Cause I was fooled mm -hmm. like that by Black and Miles. I was fooled. Mm -hmm. Because you know how black it smell smell when it's burning? Yeah. That bitch don't taste like that. It, no, it does not. It don't taste like that because a, a, a burning black, black and mild was damn near like a fucking incense to me. It smells so damn good. But you put that bitch out it. it's World War Three. You got to get it the book out the house. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. <laughs> you got to get it out the house. Yeah, because I can smell a put out black. That's a bitch could be could have been outside by the door and I can smell it in the back. I'm like, I'm I smell that shit back here in my room. That is the thickest lingering smell ever. Yeah. Yeah. That like that a, shit in cigarettes. Uh huh. When they burn out and shit like that, you like, ugh. Mm. Yeah, I was like, shit. You know, at least with you know with, with weed and shit, you might get a little cotton mouth, but that's about it. That's about it. Everybody around a little smell of it. They might hate weed, but they like, yeah. Ooh, that shit smells so good. It smells so good. Yeah. Even when they call it, when they call it skunk hell, it be strong as hell. Like that shit smell good. Mm hmm. Shit, do you wonder why them niggas moving slow? This this shit. Like I heard the old school cast, he said, I don't want nothing with no name on it. Just give me some weed. I don't know all just this shit you're weed. doing. <laughs> yeah, just give me some weed. I'll let Atomic and oh Killer and 187 and you know, the big dogs. Yeah. No, I don't want none of that. Just give me some regular weed and get me out of here. That's all I want. Yeah, give me. He's like, yeah. shit, I, I, I gotta get up in the morning. Give me some shit that's grew locally on a farm somewhere. Get yeah. Some weed. Just give me some weed, some dab, dab, some dirt weed, because that other shit, boy, you don't know if you didn't have goddamn shit weed or X pill. You're like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, uppers and downers and yeah. sativas and latibas and my tibas mm -hmm. and your tibas. I'm telling you, they all in there, they got the mingling, and shit, you just sitting up zombified. Yeah, yeah you zombified. See, it up been sitting here. I did it myself. Then, then, then got a little too up there and goddamn and watched the damn infomercial by now for about 45 minutes. I realized what I was doing. Don't even know what you're doing. So you have to wonder. You be looking at something and you listening mm -hmm. to it and you mm -hmm. tuned in. Tuned you, in. Yeah, you, jump, you jump out of a daze and be like, what was I just doing? Yeah, I'm like, why am I sitting here watching this shit like that? And yeah, they would watch that shit showing them now. They cut through briefcases and shit. I was just mesmerized. You be so interested in something, you'll snap out of it like, why the fuck am I doing this? Yeah, uh, why don't now the only one that damn it get me for that whole hour and a half is that one of them info month uh, commercials about the goddamn the, the old school songs and shit, and they be playing mm, clips of those mm. songs. Shit, I'm in there for the long haul. That was shit you I might fuck high. around. You I'm might fuck there. around and catch that one that uh show you little clips of the videos too. I love yeah, that. some videos, love and you'll fuck around here an old song that you never seen the video to, and oh yeah, man, yeah, like I ain't know they had a video to this shit. Yeah, yeah, I get lost in the sauce. They'll play one song. I'm like, ooh, I ain't heard that. I'd be shazamming my ass off. I need I'm that. over with Shazam. <laughs> I'm shazamming every other like, shit. What's the name of this song? Yeah. If you take your lonely now, by time, mm -hmm. like, waited till tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And for and for nineteen ninety five, you get the whole collection. You from get people the whole like collection. Al Green, yeah, the yeah, stylist. So you're Al Green out there, yeah. Hey, love. Hey, love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They say shit. This shit be on TV all night. I get caught up in nineties nation. I fuck around, turn that shit on, and I be high. Lord have mercy, bro. That damn nineties nation, man. Because I ain't got the channel. Mama got a VH1 classic. Mm, they mm, play that mm. 90s Nation, and then, man, I would watch that shit all night. 90s all Nation night. to fuck around. I fuck around, set me in my bedroom back in Barrison. Like, I fuck around. I'm like, God damn, 90s Nation. Like, this make you feel like they, I know it's different. People going to say different uh, eras of music. Some people like the 80s and the 70s and shit. The 90s felt so good. That music mm. just had, when it go to black and white, it don't matter what the name. Yeah. It just, all the music sounds so good. Even the goofy music. The Margaret yeah. Rainers came in the 90s. And you had yeah. the fucking, you had all the hero bands and all the fucking mm-hmm. surf boys. You had all that shit in the nineties. All that, that shit, shit sounds so good. Because I'm telling you, I think because you know our age bracket, we we real close, and that was like really like the people of the time for us in the nineties, right? It was. That was the people of the time. Cause we, you know, in the eighties, we was kids, you know, mm-hmm. like you know. But then when it hit the nineties, that's when you hit your fourteen, your fifteen, you know. Mm-hmm. So you know, it, it's like a damn soundtrack of your life and shit. Exactly. So yeah, you get wrapped up, like I say, all that music, black, white, all that shit, you know, all that shit, rap, you know, the rock, the uh, all that shit, the contemporary, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. this, all that shit in the nineties. I was like, I remember every last one of the damn songs. I mean, seriously, every one of them. I, every last one of them. Whoever came, because, whatever video come on next, I remember that day. I remember that song. I'm going to tell you something the 90s did. The 90s were, the 90s songs were a lot of theme songs for shows. The movies, the damn show was, because that's for when, the, movies that's when soundtracks shit. was hot. Yep. You remember a lot of shows from the 90s music and commercials yeah. and shit. A lot of commercials use uh, music from the 90s. Yeah, because I remember, man, when they played, I was watching this the last time I seen it, they fucked around and played that, uh, that Friends uh, theme song. That's a whole, mm-hmm. that's a whole song. That's you a know, whole big, real that's song. That's a whole song. Yeah. Whoever told you life was going to be, yeah, I like shit. It is like you just know that shit. And it and wasn't like I listened to it. You don't know it's a it. song. Yeah. You don't know it's a song. It's a real song. Yeah. I'm talking about a good two, three minute album. Shit, yeah. So yeah, that, that's what it is. Yeah, that that ninety nation. Yeah, that's that, that's some, some good shit though. I mean, will be killing me sometime. I know that like, everybody come from different places, but it amazes me sometimes like how undiverse like some black folks are. Yeah, it's like they only know like certain shit, like pretty much just black shit. And if it didn't come on BET, they don't know it. You know, I'm like they grew up listening to a goddamn uh, what was it, Rap City? Yeah, which this is this is how my life was. I tuned in to Rap City. I knew about Tigger and the bass. I knew about all that shit. But I was a VH1 MTV. That's what I grew up when I was on my only child. So I ain't had no mm-hmm. nobody to beef out with the TV over. You know, me and right. Trans and Boogie, we brothers and shit. We different households. They, we really cousins. So I didn't have nobody to beef out with the TV over. Right. I was an MTV VH1 guy, man. That music made me feel like I can accomplish something in life. <laughs> I didn't want to, you know, niggas' music back then was about defeating the police because the police was beating ass back then. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that was, it was. Because, I mean, I would watch Rap City. I watched Rap City and, um, you know, and all that other shit. I watched Video Soul and shit. But it just, but in between that, I was still watching MTV, like you said, and VH1. I was watching that yeah. too. So, and I don't know if you could just say because, like, I went to like a, a more diverse school, I guess, you know, where it was probably like, Shit, uh, about 70, 30, you know, we, 70, 70, 40. 40. we, we were 60, 40, 40. 60 white, yeah, black, yeah, black. yeah, yeah. So, we like 70 percent white and uh, 30 percent black. So, you know, in the parking lot, you know, it ain't just you hear everything, exactly. You know, from the from, from that damn, you know, from metal to rap to country, you know, mm-hmm. you hear it all. You know, when in the you know, in the weight room and shit, you know, when they got music playing, they playing, you know, now every time it depends on what coach in there, you ain't forget number country west, you know, depending on any guy one coach, he'll he hit the, the 70. He hit you with the seventy rock, which I really like. He hit you with that, but yeah, it's just amazing. Me, like you meet somebody like our age or above, and you there's summer coming. You be knowing that old weird ass white shit. Say, nigga, that song was worldwide. I was right. You ain't never. Yeah, growing up, uh, when I was really young, in my early mm-hmm. teenage years, I was kind of embarrassed about my music. You know, I ain't want people when they came around, I would throw some pop on. I ain't want to buy know what I listen to. But like after a while, I'm like, man, you know what? This is fucking music. Like fuck this y'all. Actually, actually, my whole life shifted at at, at a point. Where it was like yeah. I don't I don't fucking care. Yeah. So you know after that shit you know that's that's and you realize all the niggas that say they don't jack off, 
and they say they don't listen to certain kind of music, they sing that shit when they don't think nobody's listening. Right. And you'll right. you'll catch them you'll catch them knowing songs. Like how you know yeah. that song? I ain't know that song. They be humming yeah. that shit or something. I'm like, nigga, mm. where that shit from? Mm. And then they okay. won't even be honest and be like, nigga, that's, that's actually a pretty cool song. You know, I'm like, just it's, it's a nice song. Like somebody gonna take a dig at you because you like Shania Twain or some shit. Like, nigga, so what? Like, man, he, yep. he listen to Garth Brooks and shit. I say, so you telling me when a Thunder Roll ain't jamming? Me making the hell out of my face? What shit you jamming, man? Man, I don't give a fuck how hard you are. One of them songs have caught you somewhere before. Yeah, it done caught you. It done caught they catch you. you. They real catch you. Real catch you. Now, you know, don't get me wrong. I'm all black shit. I love the death. That's my shit. But every now and then, it's like I have to change the flavor a little bit, man. You know, I just can't get like motherfucking out there listening to fucking 99.7. I sound like y'all listen to shit all day. Same shit over and over. All day. All day. All I mean, all day. shit, you, you get you get a little different shit, you know, on that damn quiet storm, you hear something different. Throughout the day and on a Friday night, you finna hear these same eight songs all night long. The high five at the the the, the high five at five, then they gonna do the the slick six six six, and they gonna all be the same song. Yeah. Every hour, every hour, somebody new come in, they run the same shit. Rap, I love rap because I'm, you know, of course I'm black. Yeah. But rap is my pretty much my secondary music. If I'm listening to music all day, if I'm just riding around in my van, it's gonna go from 105.3, which is pretty much 90s music, yeah. some 80s, you know, mm -hmm. and it's gonna go to 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 ESPN radio or not ESPN radio, but it's gonna be Fox radio, sports radio. Let's just say mm -hmm. that I go back and forth to that shit, and I jump in at 100.1 every so often when I just feel like I want to be a nigga you know i'm right and i yeah. just feel like it for a second and i jump back out of it yeah for a second yeah now you catch me listening to uh just just the r&b station because to me they, they play more of a you get more of a rotation versus that because on them rap ones jackie they gonna they gonna whatever the fuck is hot they finna play the shit out of it pussy brown <laughs> with my round <laughs> oh pussy, wait 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 no no the pussy pink and the boot hole brown ain't it Man, yeah, that shit there. When I heard that shit, man, at first, the first <laughs> time I heard it, I thought it was a commercial, like somebody doing a little funny skit on the radio. So I was like, no, nah, nigga, this is a real song. A real song, like a motherfucker. I was like, oh my lord. And then, then, then when they got on TV and did it, I was like, good girl, you laugh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like it was a celebration because everybody, even the people in the crowd that was supposed to be regular nice people, was hollering about pussy pink, boot the whole brown. Boy, I tell you, boy, it's a new Throw day. Throw you my round, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, hey. Okay. It's a new day, a new way. It sure will. But it's a damn shame. Like when the shit come on in the radio, like you know, it used to be when we grew up, shit come on the radio, you sang along. Shit, you these kids can't sing along with that shit. I wish I would hear one of my girls say that shit. We turn the station. I tell you, I tell you what I don't remember is I might know do it when was, I ain't around, but I don't see it. What's that? I know there was some songs coming on the radio back in the days that I shouldn't have heard. And I don't recall hearing them because probably they was turning the fucking station on my fucking ass. Yeah. The parents these days like the songs that these like. little kids. So they actually listen to that shit in the car and they kids growing up listen to fucking Pussy Pink, Boo the Hole Brown. And they yeah. saying that shit. The whole yeah. five, fifth, sixth grade classroom know that shit. First whole, grade classroom. Yeah. They know it. They know it. I like shit, man. Because I, I listened to it. I was like, man. So I just really listened to it. I was like, this is wild shit. Boy, I never thought, you know, I don't know. I'm just waiting on the next song where the woman talk about she got a train ran on her. I can't wait. I don't know what you can say next. You can say it, your pussy pink and your booty hole brown. Like, you're going to have to yeah. say, like, you in my belly, like, yeah. inside my body, in my yeah. intestines. You know, like, you so yeah. fucking be fucking they gotta go. I don't know. You got to keep pushing the envelope, man. Endoscopy. Keep pushing the envelope. <clears throat> Cameras yeah. in my body. You know, it's yeah. like, I don't know what the yeah. fuck we're going to do next. I mean that's what I'm saying. So, so I mean the bar is set pretty pretty high with the with the boot hole brown, but somebody gonna gonna take that all the way over though. It's gonna be one come out where that's somebody gonna be so dirty they can't play nothing but the but the instrumental. It can't play. <laughs> Gee. Ain't gonna be no ain't gonna be no need a beep in it. Ain't no be no man, just play the instrumental because hell it's it's gonna be the whole song gonna be ick, 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 ick. <laughs> it can't play it. See, so just play the beat. That's the best we can do. The instrumental gonna be nasty hell. Yeah. Shit, they're gonna have to. They're gonna have to. Cause that damn song, when it come on the radio, it ain't much that you can hear. Mm -hmm. The shit, you wanna hear the song, you're gonna have to go online or something to get the real deal, cause they can't play it on the radio. But they do, they my try baby. to play it. It ain't gonna work. Yeah, my baby's pretty diverse in music. Cause growing up, they 17, about to be 18 and 17. So they grew up in the early 2000s with music. Yeah. 
Yeah. There was a lot of like yin yang twins and, and a lot of the club, you know, a lot of shit like that was coming out. A lot of Yeah, a lot of club pretty, music. Pretty dirty, you know, dance, do the do to this and do to that and all that shit. So we mm-hmm. weren't finna listen to all that shit. Rap was kinda getting vulgar. So they grew up listening to motherfucking country. Not not country. I don't do country. I don't never know my genre, but whatever my stations is, I think we know what the stations are. Mm-hmm. But they grew up listening to all that shit. And we just recently in the last couple of years talked about us liking the same artists, but I told him I said I listen to rap in a whole different capacity than your friends do. That shit don't right. soak in my soul. Yeah, that shit soaks in your friends' soul. It don't soak in my soul like that. Now this new shit will not care now, but you some old shit I hear. You know, it make me just move like, damn, that's what I'm talking about right there. But this new shit, yeah. I'd be like, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't like that. And see, a lot of this new shit is in my workout playlist. I got a workout playlist. A yeah. lot of it, I. I'd be like, oh, I like that shit. It make me just feel like just for Moving a minute, I just want to yeah. lift some weights and be a nigga and lift some yeah. weights. And I'm like Get that, a, too. You, you know, play that shit in the club. I'm, I mean, I'm a, I'm in the club. We drinking the shit. They play it. I'm cool with it. But when you get in the car, I want to hear that shit in the car. You know, that club mm-hmm. music to me. 730 in the morning, niggas going to work. And that Listening shit to my that. sniping niggas from across the highway. I don't, I don't, what is that? Nah. Boom, boom. Yeah. Boom, boom. I I, oh. I pull out the blicky on it, and I'm like, nigga, first thing in the morning. Pull out the blicky when I take a left. I hit the clicky, clicky. Yeah, too shit. much I'm for like, me. I'm like, man, first thing in the morning. We are we too already much. choosing violence. Shit, man. Like, say, hey, you got shit. You know, I remember back in the day, man. Early in the morning, hell, it was gospel. It was gospel. Yeah, that's on what the people. Radio. You listen to gospel early in the morning, mm-hmm. and actually rap. Then come on. See, gospel come on at 12 o'clock. Well, it goes off at 12 o'clock sharp. At yeah. 12 o'clock sharp, I mean, these this that fucking yeah. second 12 o'clock come, that next yeah. song yeah. is Puss the Pink Booty Hole Brown. Right yeah. after, yeah. never would have made it. Marvin was, Sapp would have just said, never would have made it. And they jump right on it. Right on it, just like this. They, they don't give you no little transition song to kind of warm you up. No, nah, we need about two songs. Give me some of uh, something, then give me something a little more upbeat, and then you can hit me with it. Yeah, you know, when, when, they, when they get through playing... Uh, you know, playing uh, never would have made it. You know, you can start me with some, start me out smooth with some first of the month. You know, some bones, first some of ease me, something. ease me into it. It's Damn, first of something. the month. Some of the kind of like, okay, we, we they got they 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 playing the rap now, and she you jump right into that other shit like shit. That's a, you know, yeah, that, that's a that, that's a pretty aggressive lick. You know, I, I mean, at that point, you might still have mama on the coffee and drop off from church. And right, I mean, right, man. You, I was just about to say that shit. Shit, you ain't even got mama to the house yet, nigga. You got to like shit. You know, y'all yeah. stopping and got something to eat. Yeah, yeah. We listening to gospel because shit. When, when y'all come out that restaurant and crank it up, you better turn that. You better mute that motherfucker for you. Because shit, be like, uh, uh-uh, uh, 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 too early. Like, nah, it's twelve o'clock. Spirit. It's twelve o'clock. Mm-mm. 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 But that do you with that with that with that rap shit after that gospel boy? They get real heavy handed on you. They lay it on you quick, yeah, just real right thick. Shit, like you never left in hell. You goddamn had a, a hell of a night. And you try to wake up about eleven thirty. You listen to a couple a couple gospel songs, and when the spirits start to move, they put you right back in the club before you know. You ain't you ain't got but twelve minutes because it's gonna be 17, 18 minutes full of commercials, and they're gonna play you about two or three gospel songs in thirty. Yeah. You can, if you wake up at eleven thirty, you might hear two songs. Two songs, yeah, two songs right now. <laughs> shit, it's That's time it. to get started. Oh, shit, that it's shit almost waiting. like it's almost like they be trying to go and get them that that gospel out the way. Go and send your mother like a party. You want to send your mom and them home, so yeah. you can go and bring other coolers out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Move these tables. Home. We don't need but them two tables. We finna play domino. Move them out the way. Yeah, move them out the way. It sure what it is. Like shit, yeah. Cause I know like all the weddings I never been to. Like oh, say yeah. here, they had some music playing, but soon as you know, Mud Dead Pop Paul and them get on them, start easing out the door. When they DJ, shuffle out. Yeah. <laughs> when they shuffle out, she look like somebody just, just did the little hand motion, like hit it. You know that shit. And it hit gets it. raunchy. It gets raunchy. These new receptions, they raunchy, dog. I don't know. They oh, they, they 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 X-rated. Oh yeah, I done seen them, man. I done seen videos of them that seen it. I'm talking about shit, you looking around his ass everywhere. Everywhere. Say shit, if you dance like that all day, you wouldn't have to be bitching talking about you need to lose some weight. Man. Yeah, shit, they be stooped all the way over here, jiggling too. <laughs> he say jiggling. <laughs> yeah, just everything just but you get seasick at that bitch. <laughs> everything just moving and shit. <laughs> like you like just got it, just okay. like a room, room full of bobblehead dog, but his ass. <laughs> everything just got down. <laughs> just rocking and shit. You leave out there, you got like you got lightweight to rest when you leave out there, motherfucker. Yeah. 
Yeah, you got to straighten up like you walk here. <laughs> hey, you got to look up and say, babe, you don't mind driving back, do you? <laughs> she going to offer. She's going to be like, babe, I'm driving back. I don't like how your head still moving. <laughs> I don't like how your head's spinning. Shit, yeah, you, you reach for that handle twice like you just couldn't grab it. You know? <laughs> Shit, I, I drive. Shit, this motherfucker like hell. I couldn't even get no damn punch here. Everything moving in that bitch. <laughs> hey, yeah, I, them motherfucking receptions. <laughs> yeah, you get crazy in there. Like, shit. Yeah, you go outside and come back in and say, that's smell so. Shit. <laughs> you trying to you trying to keep your eyes to yourself? Yeah. There's so much going on with your head. So, it is. <laughs> Yeah, and when you turn when you turn your head somewhere, you try to aim like like act like you looking up, <laughs> like you looking over the shit. Now that you looking right at it, your eye sockets and shit hurt because you're trying to keep them straight to keep and, it. and narrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so shit, you got to go to the bathroom to rest your neck, your eyes, and everything. You got to go to the bathroom to loosen up. Shit, so, man, I'll I be back. I got to go go pee. Shit, you go to that bathroom. You got to lean up against the wall for a minute. Shit, my damn neck Ooh. all stiff and shit. Hell, oh. and I've been blinking so much, my dad, because hell, he trying not to stare. You got to go back in there and recalibrate. <laughs> look straight. Now go back and regroup. Go in the look bathroom to the left. regroup. Look yeah. to the right. You yeah, look, look up, up and you look, look down. down. Oh, man, I think I can make it. Yeah, yeah, them motherfucking receptions, boy. Shit, you come to happen, leave in the argument. You go to looking too low. You're like, shit. You know, so you looking at that girl last year. Can't happen. God damn it, she can't happen. Don't say nothing to me. You look too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What is a mess. It is, but it's funny. The shit, yeah. I don't know what we're gonna do here like, as a music community, but we're gonna try. Cause it, it's it is, man. It, and what's so crazy, like they do that shit at every event. Like they just take about 20 minutes out, just let the women get up there and shake their ass. I'm talking about like that's something that we, that's a that's a must. Yeah, it's like an intermission that has to happen. Like they'll stop a goddamn show so they can shake their ass for about 15 minutes and then go back to other shit. I like, boy, because hell, I've been to a couple little gatherings and shit, man, here lately. Like, as soon as the song come on, like, just, like every bitch just drop down and stick their ass out. I said, don't nobody just bob their head no more? No, no matter what they was doing, it's like immediate, just immediate. straight ass. Straight ass, <laughs> immediately. Like, shit. Like, hey, man, you know, that's why them, 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 them black folks with these kind of nice restaurants, they be, they be having to stop them and shit. Like, hey, man, we ain't doing all that in here. Like, uh-huh. you got to tell them to stop. That concludes this episode of The Wormhole. Join us next time to see what shit goes in the hole and comes out the other side gold.